Look who's here! Mojo! Do you want to help Mommy paint today? Are you going to be a good boy? Do you want Mommy's cookie? That's what you want. Do you want a mom? I, you're such a good boy! You're such a good boy. Would you... Could you give me your paw? Could you give me a... That's a nice boy. Oops! Oh, shoot! Mommy dropped her cookie. Hang on! Here we go. Pick that up. Oh, clean up that mess. Thank you. Can you sit? Oh, you're such a nice boy. You're such a nice boy. You're a good studio puppy. Yes, you are. Would you like, do you want to go, do you want to do some, <coughs> oh my goodness. I didn't ask you to speak. I didn't ask you to speak, but it's okay. Okay, mommy going to roll now. That's a good boy. That's my mojo. He was down here with me again. So, I thought I'd try something that I haven't, I don't think I've recorded one yet. But anyway, this is Patty Tally Parish, everybody. Happy rainy Sunday. Um, decided I was going to play with these, um, a couple of the matte medium resists I did on the jelly plate the other day. So these are two that I used the um, dilutions on. They came out pretty cool, actually. So I trimmed off the kind of crappy looking edges, and I thought I would put them in my old ledger um, art journal that I use and see what I come up with. So I just thought I'd let this roll to show you kind of my process. Um, Mojo, why don't you lay down here, honey? Go lay down on Mojo's bed. Good Lord. Gotta help her, I think. So let's dive right in, shall we? I'm going to use some of the um, Collage Page by um, Tracy Bautista. I love her. I've taken a couple classes with her before. And she is one of the sweetest people on the planet and very talented. I actually have one of her, I gave her some of my lamp work beads when I was in her class. And, um, you know, just to give her a little something. And she gave me one of her, I'll show you as soon as I get this going here. I think I'm going to have to let Mojo upstairs anyway. He's prancing. Are you prancing, honey boy? Yeah? Is my bubby prancing? You want to go back upstairs with your daddy? Is that what you'd like to do? So I sprayed these with this um, after they dried um, because the Dilutions ink that I used on these um, is water reactive. So when I put this collage page or any wet medium on there, I'd get the inks to react and they'd be smearing everywhere and they look so cool the way they were. I didn't want that to happen. Um, so I sprayed them in hopes that that would work. And I think it will. Looks like it's working so far. Look at Mojo. He's like right here. <laughs> Do you want to go back upstairs, honey, with your daddy? Do you want to go back upstairs with Sissy and Daddy? <gasps> or you want to stay? You can stay if you want. You look a little antsy, gotta tell you. I have this whole week off. Oh, now see, that did get a little pink off of there, even though I sprayed it. See my brush? Evidence. But didn't smear around like I thought it would, so that's that's all I wanted to do. Oh, you crying, honey. Why are you crying? You want to go back upstairs? Mommy, let you go. Hang on. Just a minute. I'm at a critical stage. So these are coming out two different sizes, which I don't really care because it's my journal page. I'm not perfect. I don't expect my journal pages to be perfect. This one's actually kind of crinkling up. Might learn something from that spraying deal there. Okay. Hold that thought. Mojo's a little antsy. I'll let him upstairs and I'll grab that Tracy Bautista print. Hang on. Come on, Mojo. Upstairs. Bless his little heart. Here, you'll recognize, if you don't know who Tracy Bautista is, this might ring a bell because she's got a very thick style with her, her um, doodling and mark making and her one-eyed green girl. Isn't that cool? So she gave me this which I love, have it standing up in my my little shelf there for some inspiration. 
But these are... Oh, I didn't set that damn setting to keep my screen on. Hello, where are you? There we go. Oh, Lord, now I got... Hang on. You know... There we go. It's always something. <laughs> okay. Good enough. Put that in little, some little bit of water. And now, now what I'm going to do. What the hell am I going to do next? So, um, let's do this. Let's put a little, I'm going to grab some gesso. Never go wrong with gesso. Oh, Lord. Except for when it doesn't. Good thing I have a dental plan. I'm always biting that damn lid. Um, never go wrong with gesso. And, uh, hang on. I'm looking for something I have in here somewhere. The heck is it? I have these golden um, mica gels that I got that actually, when they dry, ooh, where's the camera? There we go. See that 3D little glittery mica stuff right there? That's what's left behind, and this one's gold. They're kind of funky. We might play with those. What the heck? And let's grab some... What color do I want? Just hologram stuff. I love this. You'll see me use that a lot. I used it on one of my folders, actually. You probably saw some pictures. And you see what it looks like. It's clear. Almost looks white, but it dries mostly clear. Um, with just those reflective bits that are in there that look like holographic, shiny, not tissue, but like f not metallic like a foil either. I don't know what to call them. But they're little holographic bits that that um, show in there. And now you can you see them against black, how it looks different. And if that would dry, you'd see all those lovely green and blue little bits in there. But it picks up the color behind it. So I always like that. And uh, what else do we want? Let's pick something golden to put around the edges here for some color with the gesso. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do my favorite. Cobalt teal. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll need another little jar to put a splash of this in. This one's almost empty. Got a couple more mustache. So I don't have to panic quite yet. Other companies make a cobalt teal though. So it makes me kind of wonder why Golden had to stop making it because it was dangerous or something, is what I heard. But other companies make cobalt teal. Don't know how the, the colors compare, but I saw Matisse had a cobalt teal the other day. Did I get that? No, I didn't get that, but, but I saw that on uh, Jerry's Artorama the other day when I was poking around. And um, so um, I have... I'll try that when I run out of this stuff, but hopefully it'll be a while. So I'm thinking that I don't want to go just this color around there, that I might want to mix in something else, but what, pray tell? What do I have in my bag of tricks? Let's do some fluorescent pink. How about that? So what I'll do is... <laughs> oh, yum. We'll take a little bit of that. I'll do the turquoise up here around these colors, and then I'll hit the pink down here and kind of let them like blend in the sides. That's my idea. So I just take some gesso. Can you guys see that? Just take some gesso on my finger, and then take a little teeny bit of my turquoise and add in there and just kind of start working it around. This is a Donna Downey kind of thing that she likes to do on her pages. And her canvases really 
she does it a lot on her journal pages but you can it really is cool the depth of color you can get out of it when you really start mixing it around and we come back up here with just a little bit of the turquoise and get a little bit darker around the edges you dig yeah man so let's keep throwing it out there just get in there and get dirty and funky that's what I like I'm a dirty girl I don't care who knows it here we go a little bit of that mixed in a little drag a little bit of the dark up in the edges and that necessarily isn't finished but for right this moment in time you can drag a little bit down here a little bit of that a little bit of that drag it along here maybe even down the center here clean off my fingers oh you know what I didn't do to this that I usually do I can still do it I usually put a piece of washi tape down the seam because it's so old and the pages are actually really frail you can see where there's a little bite of this page out of there oh wait a minute can you no you can't because I'm a door there it is see this right here no I didn't get hungry and bite the paper for fiber they're just so fragile that when I do some other pages, um, you know, see these hunks here that have just kind of yanked off and, oh, hello, here we go, tearing one that I've already done. It's really kind of tricky. I need to try doing that, um, <coughs> the baby powder that Donna suggests doing to her pages. So, where's, it's all I got for water right now. I found these when we were prepping for the yard sale that never was. This is an old, God, it's older than I am. Yeah, it's old. Now I'm 56. This is Franciscan ware made in California that was on my grandmother's. Um, it was a little set. It was two of these. One had an orange lid. One had this turquoise lid. Um, and I think it was a bowl with a lid. And it sat on a little platter. So it was like a cream, sugar, and whatever else. I don't know. Um, but she always had it setting out, so that's what I asked for when she passed, if I could have that. And I've had it ever since. So now let's get in here with this hot pink. I'm going to take it off the lid so I don't get any gesso in the actual paint. God forbid. So I'm going to take gesso on one finger, a little hotsy totsy on the other one. And let's get in here and see where we go with that. Whew! That is some kind of hotsy totsy too, let me tell you. A little bit more gesso. Get your arm out of the camera, girl. What the hell are you doing? And this, these golden paints, they're so pigmented. When you start doing this, you can just take the tiniest bit of paint and uh, really make that, add that gesso to it and just keep going with the color. Like I can keep dry this, get this to turn a little pink, and drag it over here if I wanted to. Yeah, but I don't want to. I want it brighter. Let's see if I can get that to turn. That's already dry. I don't know if that'll blend and turn into like a cool purple there. A little more gesso. We'll finger cleaning up the middle. Right, that might be a good enough stopping off point for right this second. Oh, look, a baby wipe. How handy. So, here's where we are. Kind of looks now kind of like baby pink and blue. Not sure I like a lot. But, it ain't over yet. I'm going to plug in my heat gun so I can kind of speed this up a little bit. Here we go. Ooh, that kind of smells like my hair's in the dryer. At least I've done that before with blow dryers. Not a good smell, but very recognizable. All right, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to throw in just a watered-down coat 
uh, the Golden's uh, White Airbrush Paints. There we go. And I'll use a wet brush with this. This is runnier than the fluid paints. It's made for an airbrush. Um, but it puts just a kind of a soft, uh, whitey, misty looking kind of a coat over stuff that's real bright if you want to push that more back into the background. Oops, there goes that damn screen again. Oh, when I lost. Lord, you know what? There we go. Good Lord, I just looked at my time. I'm already almost 16 minutes and we haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> oh, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? All right, good enough. I'm going to put... I forgot that glue out of this thing. I should just grab another brush, shouldn't I? Let's try this one. And let's get her wet. And let's try whippity doing a little bit of this on here and see what come what happens. Get it on there. Get it on there. Oh, right, now you can see where it buckled. This could turn into I don't know. Halfway through, I always think, what a freaking disaster. But somehow, everything goes push into the background. And uh, it all depends on what you end up with, not what you start with, really, because. Now, I lost a little bit too much of that, I think, for my liking. So I'm going to take my handy dandy baby wipe and I'm going to, like, just. Make some little swipes or whatever over top of this. Get some of it coming back in. Kind of cool to see that pattern, but not so dark. Just a little here and there kind of thing. Okay. So. Now, here's where we are. Blurred it out a little bit. Can you guys see that okay? Oh, hello. So, hit it with the dryer. I have this little piece of this um, tape. Uh, again, Donna, this is like a whole day of Donna Downey stuff here, huh? She sells this tape. You can get it in... Um, like drywalling sections of like home goods and Lowe's, although I haven't been able to find it here in my area, but I bought it from her website and from her in person when she was here at the Queen's Inc. last year. Um, it comes, I'll show you the roll, because I painted that. Cobalt teal, shocker. So here's what the roll looks like. And it's adhesive backed. So, you can just pull it and stick it, and everybody's happy. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll use, instead of the turquoise piece, I'll save that. Maybe I'll use some plain and rake some paint over it. Here and there. That brightened up a little bit more since that white is drying on there. Okay, good enough. So let's see, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Um, mm-hmm. Let's get some of this down. Or maybe drag some uh, yellow back into this puppy. Using my new scissors that my friend Pat Walker sent me. Uh, 
and all of them, these babies are sharp, 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 sharp. So this one, you can see I cut it in half. Well, not half, but I mean, I cut it up and painted it and you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Pretty cool stuff. But this, I think I'm just going to, what am I going to do? Nope, too much. All right, let's do this. Let's do one down there, one up here. Real exact, aren't I? <laughs> Not so much. And the hardest part of this is finding the edge. And for moi that has no fingernails, I used to always get my nails done with acrylics with a French manicure, which looked quite lovely. But the more I got into this stuff, the more I realized there's a waste of money because they're always, they were always munged up. And then one time when I was doing lamp work, I set my thumbnail on fire. <laughs> no disaster. Nobody got hurt, but don't try that at home, folks. <laughs> this one here was, I was holding the mandrel and I, Dumbass leaned over to grab something and thought, keep your hand there, keep your hand there. But apparently, tilted in a little bit. I turned around and flames are shooting off of this thumbnail. Like, ah! Reminded me of the I Love Lucy episode where she set her fake nose on fire. Yep, I just blew it out. No injuries. Just caught the acrylic on fire. Yep, blew it out. And finger was, fingernail was black. Scraped that off. All was well. Lordy. And then see, you got this little stuff that you could use like for Punchinella, which I might do. Who knows? You never know what I might do. So, okay. Now where are we? Let's put something on there. What am I going to put on there? Do I, you know what? Maybe I'll mix this little bit of turquoise that I have. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can use this on something. Good Lord. Man, that baby's wedged in there. I got this knife when I was in Chicago from Utrecht um, and it showed it using with molding paste to like go like this and make like petal forms in it. I don't know. Might use something like that. But in the meantime, let's do a little bit of this. Take a little bit of turquoise that's left here. God forbid I waste a molecule of this, this precious stuff. And then let's go in here, get some of this. See if we can get a purple out of that. Yeah, a little bit of purple. So, let's try it again down here. Just kind of schmutzing it around. No real rhyme or reason to my schmutzing. Just get a little texture and color down there. I don't know if that's my favorite thing I've ever done. I did do it one other page, actually, in this book that I liked much better than what that looks like. I think I just did it in turquoise, though. Let me see. Where is that baby? Oh, there it is, right there. So, see, I used it down the side, and I just smeared turquoise uh, cobalt teal with a palette knife like I did, but then I put a piece of fabric tape over it, which... Maybe I'll do, let's see, my fabric tape stash. Wonder where I put that when I rearranged. I know what I should try to put on here. Some of this jelly tape that I've made. Do I have any that sort of match? Just to see how the adhesion works, even if it doesn't match. I think I'm going to do that. It's kind of a stretch, but I'm not going to use that. Not that one. You know what? Let's use some. Um, let's try cutting up a little bit of that and sticking it on here. Just for giggles. Should have probably had that in mind before I launched into my page. And we're going to call that dry enough. Um, hmm. Here it 
is, what are we going to do with it? Maybe I should just do chunks here and there because I got this top and bottom thing. It's going to be too symmetrical if I do it top and bottom there. Hmm. Well, you know what? Just for giggles, let's cut this puppy up a little bit to different size, little strips. Let's cut this off. Maybe make this two. Oops, hello. These babies are really sharp. All right, where's my, um, let's use this. I like that black. I like my papa black. I do, I do. So I wonder if we went like this. No, because I'm maybe going to drip off of there and it's going to cover that up. This, this, this. I kind of just lay things around and play and think and play and think. See what I like, see what I don't like. Don't like that. I don't know why, but I don't. This. Why aren't you working with me? I, my balls. Okay, let's try this. I'm liking that a little bit better already. All right, let's try that. What the hay? Where was my glue brush? a little bit too big and too wet, but I'm going to soak some of it up in my inky binky. Let's get it a little bit dry and just do a little bit of eyeball in there. This dries clear, so if I don't hit it exactly right, I uh, don't think it's much of a big deal, really. And I'm not going to go over top of that just to see if I can get away with this much. Oops, let me grab that too. This brush is a little bit big for this, but it's, it was already dirty, so. Another little piece down there. Should I put it up here? And this way, maybe? Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a little something, something like this across these. See if it sticks to each other. A little experiment. Okay. Oops, let's stick out there a little bit. There we go. Let's see how that works. There's my just happen to have my bone folder. Press that down a little bit without trying to get it all sticky. No, oh, what the heck? I just wipe it on my shirt. Hi, <clears throat> this. My wardrobe suffers from art. So this is, well, there's part of it. You know, I'm going to put something opposing up here, I think. It's going to look too odd if I don't. So let's do the same kind of thing. This is going to be shorter, but we'll kind of mimic that for a little symmetry on the page. I'm not worried about it being exact. I'm not an exact kind of girl. Oh, crap, and I threw the brush back in the water. <laughs> I'm not done with you yet, brushy. So let's just do this. Let's just throw a bit on here. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit, wasn't it? It was maybe a bit and a half. All right, let's go with one right there. And another one right there. Maybe I'll just Take them down a little bit since I got some down here. And this little skinny one, maybe down a little bit further. All right. 
Got a little bit of excess on that one, but what the heck? Let me see what I can press with that. I'm going to get a good, uh, whoops, get down there, baby. Let's get that stuck on there pretty good. I think it is. All right, so now here's where we are. It's kind of neat because it gives it a little bit of texture, but I wouldn't have, had I given any forethought to this page and not been on the recorder, I'd have probably not done this. But since I'm there and we're, we're wondering like what to do with all the tapes that I made, getting a lot of questions about that. Um, I just want to see how they glue down on a journal page. So we'll try that as an experiment. Okay, a little bit of heat gun, that's pretty wet. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drag a little bit of gesso over this. I don't really like how that's looking. I'm gonna use this one. Water that out a little bit. And maybe a lot. It'll probably take a week to dry. <laughs> week off so who cares yay I need a week off I think I really need the rest after all my travels the old girl can't hang like she used to I can tell you that much Ooh, baby plus I was single for so long uh, before I met Dave that I was I would travel and go like a maniac because I could but now I really miss home when I'm not here and my my husband and my puppies and my art stuff, so. I had to get home these days. I should have just got my whole um, big jug of water that I use when I normally do this. So now I think I want to do some... Maybe some of this 3D gel and let it show through all these colors. I think that'd be pretty cool. But pray tell what stamp. I was thinking about doing it through this. You know what? What the hell? I'll try it. I can scrape it off if I don't like it. I was thinking maybe it needed a little bit more of a larger whole design, even if it was just larger Punchinella. But um, as I say that, I'm leaning over here towards my stencils. <laughs> hey, I'm a stencil hoe. God love me. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's go with that idea. And this is going to take a while to dry, but once I add that uh, that 3D gel, that's going to be drying overnight probably. Um, but I'm anxious to try it, so let's just have a go, shall we? Stand back and hold on to your hat, people. Never tried this one before. I feel like one of the Walindas. <laughs> Not quite as exciting as walking a tightrope over the Grand Canyon, but a new adventure for me. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to... I've got some of this on the sides. I'm going to swirl that all up and get it in there. Keep it all nice and moist. This is, is um, available in a pen form, too, like a little squeeze pen, um, which is nice for trying to outline something with this stuff. I use that a lot on my, on my cigar boxes, which I have to do one. One of our friends, I don't know if you guys keep up with art and lamp work, but a friend of mine is a mother and daughter team, Shannon um, Stevens Steele is the daughter that's the lamp worker and Sally Stevens is the um, the art jewelry designer and creator oh my god she's so good between the two of them they make some really cool stuff well Shannon just had a baby which I think is Sally's first grandchild I'm moving the camera um, and I'm gonna make her a baby girl cigar box the other one I made for a friend of mine came out really cute maybe I'll tape when I do that Anyway, okay, here we go. Let's grab some of this stuff. See the magical bits in there? <laughs> oh, yes. Hello, lover. That's a little bit too much, though. 
see what we get. Let's just go right across the middle over all these little holes. It's like icing a cupcake. Sorta. Of. Trying to get the bits off there that kind of overflowed me. Let's see what we got. Did it dot or did it blob? Um, kind of dotted. It's kind of cool. Let's say scrape off the parts that are outside of that. It's one thing you can do with this if it's still wet. Oops. But you got to kind of hold it. You can't always see it in every light. There we go. All right, let's try a little schmutz of that up here somewhere. right down try to remember to move my arm out of the way a little off the edge action there here we go what we get is what we get grab off a little hunk of that Right there, I went over. Scrape that off the edge before it hardens and makes a dagger out of it. And I'll pale myself one day. Let's see if I can get you guys to see where that is. Where's my light? Hang on. Where are you, little dots? Can you see that? There we go. There you go. Oh. Damn that screensaver. <laughs> and where's the other one? Over here. I don't think, don't think I have enough room to get that low. <laughs> no, nope, that's still not it. Over here. Let's do it this way. Work with the book and gravity. Oh, there we go. Jeez Louise. There it is. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. Okay, get this off of my new knife. You do want to clean off your tool before that hardens. I think you still could clean it off, but it makes it a lot easier before it sets up. And that again was the Crystal Gel by Viva Decor, and it's the hologram is the name of the, uh, is the name of it. A lot more places are starting to carry that on the web now. So let's do, I'm feeling a need for some more black. As per usual. So, um, what black do I want to put on there? Little dots maybe to pick up these dots? I think I will. Grab a little dot maker. Oh, and you know we're going to need circles, so let's just get that over with right now. Try this one. And... Oh, I know. Maybe one of my Montana pens in another color. That's not going to contrast enough. There's too much pink in there. Yellow. I don't know, maybe... Black always works, so bring out the black. Maybe even some white on that. There we go. Okay, let's get some little dots down. Oops. Luckily, three more tubes arrived yesterday. Okay, um, I haven't used this for acrylic paint dots yet, I don't think. Well, maybe I did on the jelly plate when I did the tape. All right, I'm going to keep off of this stuff that's got to dry yet, and let's just kind of, let's just kind of plop some down. 
get some on there. Little groups of threes that I like. Let's see. Nothing has to be perfect because who cares? Most people never see this stuff. And I'm not, when I do journal pages, I don't really journal. So I don't know if they really call journal pages or not. But I, I mean, I might put a word on there. And it's funny, I see all these people that journal and have like really dark thoughts and the pages are of skulls and blood and stuff on them. Um, I don't have those thoughts. So none of my pages would say that. But um, every once in a while I'll throw a, you know, a little word or two out there. All right, let's try, um, let's see if I can do this. Just make me a little pound of black paint there. Enough to grab some circles. There we go. Off the edge. I don't know why circles make me so happy, but looky there. How about that? Oops, almost plopped it right in the gel. I can put some off there, though. Oops, a little gesso in that one, one here. Let's go down here. Good enough. Oh, and look, it's 11. My favorite number. And then I'm going to hit this with a dryer a little bit to try to get that black gesso so I can do my little mark in it that I do. I don't know if yellow is going to show up, though. I don't know. I'll try a little piece and see what happens. But I have a little bit of blue left. Uh, of the turquoise. So let me try this little bitty baby here. a teeny tiny one. Let's see if I can get some of that cobalt teal somewhere in here without wasting it. It would just show up good in that one. And in this one, just kind of putting them around like a little arc in the, in the ones that kind of contrast with the blue. Funny, but a little little marks like that will really perk your page up. I'm telling you, it just adds another layer. Nothing fancy. It's something everybody can do. Um, look at this two-handed drawing and painting at the same time. Miracles never cease. I'm telling you. So maybe I should put some pink. Let's see. Just stop, but no. Let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep going. Let's try some pink. Leave that up there. Try not to set the house on fire. I'll try to promise my hubby that I won't set the house on fire. Maybe put some of these on. Like the ones that contrast. Better with the pink. What do you think? Oh, look at me, I made a rhyme. Any more? Did I miss them? Yep, got them all, didn't I? Okay. These neon colors by Golden are really Topsy, topsy, popping and telling me. I might even do a couple little dots. Somewhere like right there. Ah, look at me, I'm a maniac. One, two, three. Let's put three three somewhere. Where am I going to put another set? Right up here in the middle. Oh, that's on that clam gel. Oh, that's pretty much, it's 
not completely dry, but that's drying. So I'm going to go crazy and put some right up there. And then I'm going to stop. That's the hardest thing for me to do. Is decide when to say when. Let's see where we are with these circles. A little bit more drawing time wouldn't hurt. So here's kind of where we are. <sighs> Trying to get the colors to bring it together because that was, you know, the dot, the drywall tape with the pink and the blue on it. It kind of looked, I don't know, wasn't putting me. I'm going to take a inconspicuous place here and see if I can drop down some of this yellow and if it changes color or what. Let me see if I can. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't see it. Let me try to show you without the Dramamine. Wrapping up the tape. I am going to set the house on fire one day. Ugh. Think people before you act like me. Trust me. All right, let's just do something right here. Ooh, wow. That's what some paint. Two, three. Second dry. I'm just going to turn another color. We'll let that one think a little bit longer. We'll think on that one. I think the white's going to work. dry. Where can I do this without creating a disaster? These look pretty dry on this side. Let's see what we get. Don't know to try. And that may not work either. That might be a little bit too. Let me try it here and here. That's my little mark I like to make. I don't know. The ring with the little tag for it. Like it. Don't know why. And that white's kind of transparent. I think it's going to blend too much and not be a stark white. So, the yellow's lightening up too. Hmm. Oh, decisions, decisions. And you guys aren't helping me much, i got to tell you. A little opinion from the background would be helpful, ladies. I know some of you talk to me, you tell me you do. Let me hear you. Let me hear what you got to say. Let me try putting a second coat on that. It comes out more stark. That might work. What the hell? Let's go. I can only stand thinking so long and then I just gotta go. Got to go, make something happen. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's white on white. That's not gonna show at all. Put that one down here a little bit lower. That one there. Alright, I'm gonna let them dry a little bit and I'll go back and hit them with the second coat. Because those two are a little bit uh, whiter now. I don't know if you can tell that from the angle. And this Montana paint does dry pretty quickly. You know, I think I might outline these with maybe that pen that I like that I told you guys about, that Odo Foodie Ball or whatever the hell it's called. I think I might. I think they would jump out a little bit more. All right, let's put another coat on the white. Oops, hello. Oops, they're still kind of wet. There we go. Let's 
Not sure what I want to do with these white and white ones down here. May resort to the pink after all. I need more of something in there because this kind of took up a lot of space that looks blank until you you know you can see that it's not once you hold the book and move it um oh <laughs> silly silly girl i know what it's missing it's been so long since i've done this my other little marking thing which i did in some of my folders the other day with the black just make the lines of the bars. I like that. So let's just stop that for a while so I can hear myself think. And let's go. I do like to do fives and I like to do threes. I don't know why, but that's what I do. Odd numbers just seem to look better to me. Let's go off the bottom of the page here. And this is such an easy thing to do. It's just a tap, tap, tap. And you've got, um, you got some stuff going on on a blank spot. Helps fill up the page. Gives it something kind of recurring when I go over these yellow ones. That didn't work so well. There we go. No one will be the wiser unless somebody with loose lips out there blabs about it. Over this paper, you got to kind of rock the pen a certain way to get it to fill in those holes. Kind of on and off the tape, down the center. Need a little something going this way over here, I believe. I kind of just stand back and it sounds weird, but I kind of like, like blur my eyes and try to only like show up on the black parts and see where I'm missing something. So I'm thinking right in there. We need to go vertical. I like to put them vertical and horizontal. Kind of mix up the, the shape of everything in there. See that one? You got to kind of wiggle to get it down in those holes of that tape. Some half off the page. Know when to stop. Okay. Know when to stop. Did I just say that? Okay. I like to kind of get something off of all the edges somehow. Enough for now. Oh, Lord, those are tight sometimes. So here's where we are now. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to take my little pen here. And I'm going to just loosely go around these. Because this pen is what writes over just about anything. Won't do the oil pastels. We remember the test we did the other night. Apparently I can't draw lines and talk at the same time. Give them a little bit of pop. I was going to use my um, one of my Stabilo pencils and then use a water brush on them. Maybe that's what I should have done and blurred that out a little bit. But I did not. Ooh, man, my hand's a little shaky. 
Lord. Good thing I'm not looking for a straight line. I can't even... Lordy, lordy. Might need to get that looked at. <laughs> so that helped it pop a little bit. A little bit more poppage than it was. Uh. So here we are. I'm going to dry this a little bit. Try to get those, uh, my marks dried because, um, ooh, what did I do there? Drug that into something. Oh, well. Oh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I have some black paint left. Tell you what I'm going to do. One of the pluses from traveling, a lot of hotel keys. So I'm going to dip the edge in some of this black paint that I have here. Is that okay still? It's a little, I don't know. We'll, we'll give her a go. Um, and let's, where do I want to do this? Let's do something like this right here. Just a little hush hush kind of a line. I'm going to go right through these, that hologram stuff. And note to self, something not to do again. What the hey. Uh, let's go this way here. Yeah, this paint's a little bit too dry for that. Let me get a little bit of fresh down there. Oh. There we go. That should work. That's better. Where am I going, paint? This just helps fill the page too with a little bit more real faint lines if you want them somewhere. Oh, and there's my gel. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's this high Regency key or if it's me. I have to stay at another hotel if it's not going to work with me and my art. <laughs> um, let's go across the tape. Let's see how that sticks on there. And maybe across the tape right here. Oh, there's the damn screensaver. Just a little something something. That was a little nothing. Okay, now maybe I need to cross hatch a little bit, like a little bam, bam, bam. Oh, look at that. Not even close, my dear. There we go. That's better. A little offset cross, cross hatching there. Give me three down here. Oops. Dragging it around. Good enough. Okay. That just added a little bit more stuff to the background. And we're drying. Okay. I feel like dripping some ink. And I'm not sure what color, so... I got this um, 
It's Viva Decor ink, and I've used the gold and the silver before. Or the gold, I think. I don't know if I have this in the silver. But I don't know. I'm gonna put a little test spot on the paper here somewhere. What the heck? It was all dried and powdery around here. Hmm. Not sure about that. It's supposed to be very opaque. Oh. <laughs> How could it have leaked if I haven't even cut the tip off of it? Very good question, Mrs. Parrish. Very good question. Not the right color pink. That's kind of orangey pink. Back to the door. The silver. I wonder what that silver looks like. The gold is fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Oops. Does that look gray or does that look silver? Ah, what the heck. We'll throw it in with a little bit of whatever else I do. I was thinking about dripping this magenta in this waterfall. I ordered a six ounce one of this because I use this all the time, this waterfall green. <laughs> Still thinking. white too. Let's just open them all up. Oh, actually I think that one's open. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yes or no? I don't know. Too much thought process for me. Okay. I think this is all pretty much dry. Let's just get crazy, shall we? I'm going to hold my book up on an angle. Put a little cushion on my rag there so I don't totally soak my papers. And let's just start out with the magenta. And I just fill my little dripper trying to see this. Oh, and I've got magenta ink on my laptop. Yay! Let me try to move that up a little bit so you can see the top edge of what I'm doing. I mean, there's no real rocket science to this. We're just dripping ink, people. So, let's get in there and just start running across the top. Squeeze enough that it drips. And just let it do what ink does. I'm going to run some down here. And let it have its way with my journal page. And then I think, do I want to add to that with the turquoise? I don't know. Probably shouldn't, but I wonder what they would look like if they mixed. Probably should have tried that in a little piece of paper. <laughs> not me, though. No, that's not the way I do things. Throw it out here. Let's add a little bit here where it's not a lot. And right here where there's a little bit of hole. Mm, a lot of stuff going on here. So let's try. Just get some down there, see what happens. The drip is kind of so abstract that it kind of doesn't matter what you do. You just get that effect. I'm going to bump it a little bit and let it help its way down there. Oh, look at how these came out kind of dual color. I'll hold them up close where the turquoise ran right over top of that and it looks like it's, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Here's one too. You never know what's going to happen or where it's going to end up. You just do it. So let me see if I can get that underneath of there. See the two? Cool. like it. I'd like the whole thing to have done that. It kind of looks like it's pinstriped drippage. <laughs> 
So, put my caps back on. I'm going to let that sit there under the careful eye of my dryer for just a moment. Oops, where are you? There you are. While I roll over here and um, try to find a little tag that might go with that. want to kind of stick out some. So I like to do the Donna thing with the dates. I haven't done one for a while. Good lord. This is on March 6th. <laughs> Need to get out more people. What is today? Really? Is this the 30th? Tomorrow's the first, right? Yeah. June 30th. There's my zero. There it is. All right. Little black ink. rid of this. Clear up a little bit of writing space. Put my PTP on there. This is good to actually cover up something that you really don't like when you put this on. I'm not overly attached to that little bit right there. Oops, hello. Kind of got off on the date. Oh well. Do a little stapling. Ooh, that's right next to another page. Ah, my poppy page. Maybe up here in the corner. What do you think? Works for me. There we go. Got her. Oops. Got her tagged. And I'm gonna stop here. Um, honestly, not one of my all-time favorites, but at least we got to show you a couple of little techniques. Show you the tape on there that we made on the jelly plate. There we go. A little bit of shine on the tape. Somewhere where this lighting is very, very tricky from this side. Let me turn this book sideways like this. Is that going to help me any? There you go. You can see a little bit of the gloss of the tape. You can see the 3D. What the hell is that? Oh god, it sounds like my favorite Martian just beamed himself in. There you go. I really don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's my hubs calling me. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off on this. Um, you guys have a great Sunday, a great week coming up. Don't be too jealous that I'm off this week. <laughs> um, have no idea what I'm going to do. Probably play a lot down here because it's too stinking hot for me to be outside. So, um, anyway, I'll get this up when I can. Hope you enjoy it and get a couple tips from that. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.